Blaskowitz, I need you to make it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Hey, Blasco, not seen a living civilian from up here since we arrived. Now, on the other hand, there's an overabundance of Nazis. Hope you have better luck finding survivors. Fergus out. Blaskowitz, head for the old American bank building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days?
Today is the inspection day. Inspection will be hard for the Ministry of Health. I'll run through the area for your safety. Stay calm and do as you are told. You will receive food and water after the inspection. Have a nice day. Responsible. Looks like I got a shortcut through this building. Get across to the other side. Maybe I can make use of that overhead crane. Overhead crane. Up and running.
William, we are moving on from the tower now. Mines are disabled. And Fergus are scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little, uh, <laughs> you know, excited. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Max Hoss. Looks like I gotta blast my way out. Someone is putting up a fight.
son. You a preacher? No, this. Lord, Lord, I picked these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz? Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers, spreading all over the south and yonder. Oh, we be the outcast, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old time friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believing anarchist. A hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's. Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty some bitches coming here, we're gonna shoot their asses out. I tell you what, going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the cross South Circle, walking legend. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my mom always said, Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton special. <laughs> oh, God damn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the Vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start building a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they dressed people like you for their dirty work while they was watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of cantankerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit and decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. The difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, Hog, and they'll lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, there, Billy. You upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. <clears throat> Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't wanting to argue with you, Terry Billy. I'm too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you! I got kids on the way! And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes! So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it! Paris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pull some wires, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. 
So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind her temper. Gordon, you better get up here. The Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now again! Let's see what this puppy can do.
too damn big. Anya, come in, Anya. Do you read? William, they read you. What's happened? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Uh, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in, and we are on our way to Lakeview District. Well, listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. You'll make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. <laughs> <laughs> 